is Muay Thai or Thai boxing. It's being featured as a demonstration sport in Paris this year. Russ Cullen took to the ring to find out more. A little part of Thailand in Paris, a Muay Thai exhibition on the sidelines of the Olympic Games. The discipline is more than a thousand years old, but it's aiming to captivate new fans. C'est la première fois que je fais de la boxe. J'ai jamais testé et franchement, ça m'a ça m'a plu. C'était c'était vraiment chouette. On sent qu'il y a de l'impact. Il m'a fait faire plusieurs enchaînements de coups. On sent que le cardio monte très vite et c'était super fun. J'ai adoré. The Thai government has been working to raise the profile of Muay Thai from its renowned national status to a recognized sport on a global level. One, two, three. And the demonstration in Paris certainly put those of us attending through our paces. One, two, three. Perfect. This is my first time trying Muay Thai and it's tough under the Paris sun, but you get a new respect for these fighters. Bukal Banjamek is the most successful fighter in Muay Thai history. He began with a Y crew in the ring. It's a ritual which precedes every fight. The 42-year-old has won multiple world titles, but he has never had the chance to fight for Olympic gold, since Muay Thai remains outside the world's biggest multidiscipline sporting competition. ทางประเทศอื่นๆด้วยแล้วก็ทางคนที่ชอบมวยไทยแล้วก็คนที่เป็นรุ่นหลังๆนะครับเราก็เป็นอ่าทุกคนผมว่าทุกคนชื่นช
it is a martial art in every sense of the word Muay Thai. I mean, the word already says Muay Thai, Thai boxing. And it's also called the art of eight limbs because you're not only you're using your fist, you're not only using the legs, but you're also using your elbows and your knees. And it's a very fast, it's, it looks very brutal, but there's also a grace in that speed and that a lot of people are seeing in that. Also, of course, there's a lot of uh, culture being infused. There are a lot of traditions um, where Thai culture is being in, infused in there. This is also why I personally was so fascinated. That's why we uh, almost two years ago decided to do a CNA correspondent episode about this to look at the past, present, and future of the sport. Mm. Asakse, what's the current state of Muay Thai in Thailand right now? Is it poised to make a big leap onto the global stage? Now, we have to take a look at two separate um, developments. First of all, the development in Thailand itself. I mean, like many other sports, it was very much affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. Many stadiums and arenas were shuttered. Many gyms um, also couldn't uh, couldn't function as well. So it, it's picking up uh, again right now. Uh, there are many new promotions uh, coming to the scenes, trying to mix things up as well, trying to break with traditions, trying to make it a, a faster sport, trying to make it uh, more palatable to a new audience. And as we have seen, for example, uh, in the clip before that, but then also there's the international development as well. The international development that we are seeing here, we have heard that it has been recognized as an Olympic sport and it could be t picked up by in the Olympic Games should a host actually want it. But it doesn't look very likely that at least in the next two Olympic Games and this will happen. But then also that the discrepancy is that it's being seen as two different things by traditionalists here in Thailand. As you have, might have seen in the clip before that from Paris by our colleague Ross Cullen, uh, the international Muay Thai ones, they are wearing headgear, for example. So this is something that you wouldn't see here in, in Thailand. And that's um, something that there's probably a fight between tradition and internationalization where a lot of people here in Thailand are probably also afraid that um, some traditions might be lost there. But however, the international um, federations are definitely working very hard to keep most of the traditions alive because, well, as the name implies, it's Thai boxing, right? Uh, and tell us what would the impact on Thailand be, you know, both politically and culturally, if Muay Thai were to be included in the future games? Now, the current Thai government is very much, um, has a very big interest in promoting Thai soft uh, power, even though it hasn't quite figured out what that actually means. So at, at least it has identified Muay Thai as a vehicle to promote soft power. It has um, put in a lot of money to promote soft power internationally. Prime Minister Seta Tawisin has said that there needs to be the equivalent of FIFA uh, for Muay Thai, so a world uh, sports governing body. It already exists. It's the IFMA. It's the International Mu um, as Muay Thai Federa uh, Federations Associations that we have seen in the clip here. And they are doing their job here to promote that. So it definitely would be a very big thing that if Muay Thai would actually become an Olympic. But we have to also keep in mind, it's not only a big thing for Thailand, it's only a big thing for the Thai fighters, that are, um, a lot of them coming from um, poorer backgrounds that are trying to climb up the social ladder, but it also would be a very big deal for international uh, Muay Thai fighters, for people that have probably seen it in a bad movie, or actually <laughs> when they came here to Thailand to see the sport and to pick that up, because in order to become an Olympic sport, it needs to be an international sport, not only a Thai one. Absolutely. I always remember fight nights, you know, whenever there's a fight, you know, a Muay Thai fight in, in, in Thailand and in Bangkok in particular, wow, the crowds. <sighs>